Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. The Israelites have been scattered across the four corners of the earth, as prophesied in Deuteronomy, the 20th chapter. Here in Israel, united in Christ, we need your help to recover the remnant of our people. Teach them the gospel. Please help us, support us, and join or donate to the Booster Club today. Shalom. So we out here to teach our people who they are, their history, where they come from. Prime example, you see this here? Why you think all this happened? Take a look at these signs, feel free. Why you think this happened right here? We always hear about slavery in school, but we never know why it happened. Bring it out! That's a question I pose to all the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans out here on Madison and Pulaski. Bring it out! Ask yourself, do you deserve the condition you live in? Why did it happen? Why? If I was to pull you to the side, I'd say, what's your name? James. James, I'd say, James. Why did this happen to our people? Why are we living in the ghetto? What would be your answer? Well, you you know what? Everything you said correct, but you leaving out a point. You know the point you leaving out? It's our fault. Bring it out. We blame everybody for what we go through in our community, but we don't take a step back and look in the mirror. It's our fault. Watch this. Read. The book of Second Maccabees, chapter 7, verse 32. Bring it out. For we suffer. Because of our sins. So we want to know why our community got drug dealing, gang banging, killing, prostitution, people scared to come outside. Why? Read. For we suffer because of our sins. Why? Because of our sins. So God said we suffer, we going through bad things because of our actions. That's right. Now you heard the word sin in church, James. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What does it mean to sin? I'm asking James. Sin. You do a lot of things to sin, man. Just, just... I want to hear you, your perspective. Wake up in the morning, you don't pray. Don't pray to God. That's okay. That's one aspect of it. Right. That's the other way there's no respect for each other. No respect. That's a fact. Our people as a whole, we do not respect each other. Prime example. You know an uh, uh, example of respecting each other? You see one of these little shorties buying squares, you'll say, shorty, what you doing? Stop. Why are you buying them cigarettes? It don't matter if it's for your mama, your grandma. You're not supposed to have them items in your possession. You a young man. You a young woman. That's out of order. But if we don't respect ourselves, we're not going to respect each other. That's right. So let's see what sin is. Because we hear that in church. God hate the sin, not the sinner. We hear that. Let's see what sin is. Because the Bible said we suffer because of our sins. So let's see what sin is. Read. The book of 1 John, chapter 3, verse 4. Read. Whosoever committed sin transgress also the law. Brother James, did you hear that? It said what? Whosoever committed sin transgress also the law. Young brothers, make sure y'all get a flyer, bro. For sin is the transgression of the law. Sin is when you break the rules of God. That is sin. So when you go back to 2 Maccabees 7 and 32, it said we suffer because of our sins. So we live in these bad conditions because we break the rules of God. God got rules that set in place and we breaking them. That's why we in this condition. Don't be quick to blame the white man, the Arab man, the Chinese. Don't get it wrong. Those your enemies according to the Bible. But you are in this situation because of your actions. Bring it out. Give me Leviticus 19, 17. So let's get some rules. Bring it let's out. get some rules that we breaking as a people. Read. The book of Leviticus, 
chapter 19, verse 17. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Uh -huh. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. Read it again from the top. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. So that's a rule that we breaking as a people. Bring it out. God said you are not supposed to hate your brother in your heart. That's right. He's not talking about the vessel that's on the left side of your chest that pump yeah. blood. He talking about in your mind. That's right. A lot of us in this community, we hate each other for no apparent reason. Man, that's I don't right. like that nigga, Joe. Man, if he come over here, I'm going to steal on him. Why? You will have no reason why you dislike that brother. Right. It may be because he financially doing better than you or what you seem, what it seemed to be. It may be because he got a certain pair of shoes and you saying you don't like him. Bring it out. God said you're not supposed to hate your brother. That's the rule of God. That's one of the reasons why we get punished. That's one of the reasons why we suffering because we hate each other. Bring Read. it out. Thou shalt not offend. Hold on. Thou shalt not what? Thou shalt not offend. Thou shalt not what? Thou shalt not offend. We got that problem. Somebody do something to you, you want payback. That's right. You want revenge. Right. Thou Listen up, brother. Get a flight. Thou shalt not avenge, nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. Hold on. What did God say? Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. We hold grudges. As a nation of people, we like to hold a grudge. Two sisters are being to it for 30 years because she stepped on her shoe freshman year in high school. Tell me I'm wrong. That's the truth. God said we're not supposed to hold a grudge. That's the problem in our community. A lot of y'all brothers that's in tour with each other, it's over so-called gang banging, stars, hat to the left, hat to the right, but really it's over some petty. The whole neighborhood in tour with each other because these two brothers had a dispute Bring it years up. ago, decades ago, Teach. and they didn't resolve the problem. Read. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people against the children of your people you're not supposed to hold a grudge against that man that looked like you that's that right. sister that looked like you right. that's why our communities is that way we gonna keep dealing with the rules of god now when somebody do something wrong do everybody be on the same page or do they show favoritism that's my question when somebody do something wrong do everybody be on the same page or do they show favoritism my sister, I got a question for you right here in the pink. I got a question for you, before you cross that street. Say you got a cousin, right? And then you got a person you don't know, right? Now, if the person you don't know steal, what should happen to them? They should get locked up, go to jail. But then if your cousin steal, what should happen to them? Why you say you don't know? Because that's your family? That's why I'm touching that. Leviticus 19:15. The book of Leviticus, chapter 19, verse 15. Bring it up. He shall not do unrighteousness and judgment. Thou shalt not respect the person of the poor, nor honor the person of the mighty. That's but right. in righteousness shalt thou judge thy neighbor. Bring it up. Read it again from the top. Ye shall not, ye shall do no unrighteousness and judgment you should not deal wickedly evil in judgment that's Guess right what? if somebody do something wrong it don't matter if you got a relationship with them right. you gotta tell them bro you did wrong in that situation Bring it out. if that's your cousin and he stole it don't matter if that's your cousin bro you stole that's wrong but then it's somebody else no nah, they stole they need to go to jail no nah, god said don't deal like that read that's right Thou shalt not respect the persons of the poor, nor honor the person of the mighty. Meaning what? You don't execute judgment or punishment or consequence because you got a relationship with them. Or they got a title. Or they somebody you know, your best friend. God said it don't matter. 
Ain't no favorites when somebody do something wrong. You address the problem and you tell them where they doing wrong at. When you don't do that, not favoritism is in play. Now, judgment is not right. Bring it out. Read. But in righteousness shalt thou judge thy neighbor. Righteously shall you judge your neighbor. Bring not according out. to how you feel. According to what God says. Bring it out. Stay in 19. Leviticus 19, 28. We're going to touch the rules of God. These are the rules that you break it. These rules that our people are breaking is why the community is the way that it is. That's Take right. that flyer, brother. That's vital information for your life. Read. The book of Leviticus, chapter 19, verse 28. Bring it out. Now, before we read this, if you get offended, it's not my word. It's not the brother standing up here. Right. This is the word of God. That's right. So, if you hear something come out the Bible that you're doing wrong, fix it. Bring it out. We did it. You right. can do it. Read. Right. Ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead, uh -huh. nor print any marks upon you. I am the Lord. Read it again. Ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead. So hold on. What's that? My brothers and sisters out here, what is that? What is the Bible talking about? It said, don't make any prints or cuttings in your flesh for the dead. Bring it out. That's talking about tattoos. Right. Guess what? Tattoos is against God. I didn't know that. When I found that out, I stopped getting them. Understand, it all go back to what? If you love God. Bring it out. If you love God, you got to show your action that you do. That's right. right. Just like a man and a woman. Man can't keep saying he love that woman and he cheat on her, beat out. on her, lie to her. You got to show God you love him by your action. That's That's right. Right. You can't keep saying you love God, you love the Lord, and you don't do nothing he say. That's right. Read on. Ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead, uh -huh. nor print any marks upon you. I am the Lord. So just in case we get simple and we think, oh, R.I.P. tax. No, any type of markings, any type of scars, branding. Some of y'all is in fraternities. What y'all do? Y'all get brands. Oh, Omega Psi Phi this, Zeta Phi that. No, God said don't put no markings on your body. No type of markings. If you in the midst of that, you are sinning. You are going against the rules that God set for you. Give me 1926. The book of Leviticus, chapter 19, verse 26. Bring it out. Ye shall not eat anything with the blood, neither shall ye use enchantment, nor observe times. Read it again from the top. Ye shall not eat anything with the blood. Wait a minute, you probably like, hold on. God care about what I eat. You absolutely right. Oh, that's right. right. God cares about what you eat. Bring it out. Only one group of people, they have a thing for eating food Bring with blood out. in it. Who is yeah. that? The so-called white man. That's God right. said, you, black man, Hispanic man, Native American man, you are not supposed to eat nothing with the blood in it. That's right. What is that talking about? Eating it uncooked. Getting steaks, medium rare. Right. Getting your burger, medium rare. Right. Bring it out. God said the Hispanic, the black, the Native American is not supposed to eat anything with the blood in it. That's right. We talking about rules of God that you break every day and nobody tell you about. But we care about our people. So we gonna tell you where you going wrong at and then show you how to get it right. That's Read. Right. Neither shall you use Enchantment nor observe times. It said what? Neither shall you use enchantment nor observe times. My brother, get a flyer, get a flyer. It said neither shall ye observe what? Observe times. And what else? Neither shall you use enchantments. That's talking about witchcraft. Bring it out. My sisters, if I asked y'all. Do so-called blacks, Hispanics, or natives deal with witchcraft, what would you say? How so? You don't know. Guess what? You know how blacks, Hispanics, and natives deal with witchcraft? 
It's called horoscopes. Read that again. Bring it out. Neither shall you use enchantments uh -huh. nor observe times. How is that witchcraft? You get the paper and it say all. Oh, you are Aries. This is how your day going to be. You are observing the time. That witchcraft called astrology deal with looking at the stars. That's against God. That's right. You are not supposed to be dabbling in that. Guess what? The punishment for that is death. And that's thus saith the Lord. These are small rules that we break as a people. That's right. Give me, um, read that one more time. Bring it the out. book of Leviticus. The book of Leviticus, chapter 19, verse 29. Bring it out. Do not prostitute thy daughter to cause her to be a whore. Read it again. Do not prostitute thy daughter to cause her to be a whore. Those of y'all walking past, those of y'all listening, you are hearing the word of God. True, uncut, uncensored. Scriptures you don't hear in church. The real understanding of the Bible. Read that again. Do not prostitute thy daughter to cause her to be a whore. So I ask, is that going on in the black and Hispanic community? Bring it out. Read it one more time. They didn't hear. Do not prostitute thy daughter to cause her to be a whore. God yeah. said, do not prostitute your daughter to cause her to be a whore. That's right. How does that partake in our community? How does it happen in our community? You know how you prostitute your daughter? You let her come outside half naked. Bring right. it out. You let her go to house parties, kickbacks, fiestas if right. she out west, right. hotel parties. Right. Read it one more time. Do not prostitute thy daughter to cause her to be a whore. We may be a little late, that's letting them go on prom. Mm. How you let your daughter go on prom Bring and you out. know the man said of them young men? Bring Read it, it again. Out. Do not prostitute thy daughter to cause her Boyfriend. to be a whore. Boyfriends. Bring it out. You letting them have a boyfriend. What is that doing? Cause her to be a whore. How so? You let her have a boyfriend at 15. Right. Let's be realistic. Why do we act naive? That's not going to be her last boyfriend. Bring Come on out. now. What the old head say? You get your first little taste, then you want some more? She going to have another and another Bring and another. Out. By the time your daughter 27, she done been with 10 men already. That's right, bring it up. And we don't see nothing wrong with that. But we complain about AIDS being in the community. Right. HIV. Right. Syphilis. Right. HPV. Right. We complain about all these things, but we allow it. Bring it out. Check yourself. I can't say check yourself before you wreck yourself. Everybody heard that song, but nobody took heed to it. It's too late. We already wrecked ourselves. How do we wreck ourselves? By sin, going against what God tells us to do. Read out. that one more time. Do not prostitute thy daughter to cause her to be a whore. So when it comes to what? She come in your house pregnant. Your daughter comes home pregnant. Do not act surprised. Do not act shocked about it. You allow the boyfriends. You allowed the prom. You allow her to come outside with just leggings on, showing out. her curve, showing her vagina, showing her cleavage. You allow her to come outside like that. So when she come home pregnant, don't get upset. What are we doing? We addressing a bad parenting that's, that's been going on from generation to generation to generation. Right, right. And it's time that it end. Right. How is it going to end? With the words of God. That's, right. that's how it's going to end. And again, like I said before, if the shoe fit, wear it. Bring it if this up. is you as a parent, fix the situation. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark.
Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.